Welcome again to another show of the... Oh, where did I put my mic at? Oh, there we go. Welcome to another show of Bobo and Girlfriend Wrestling Show. I am the one, the only Hobo Tom. If you're curious to why I'm holding a beach umbrella, because I am getting ready for the hurricane that's supposed to be showing up soon. Um, I know I'm Florida. I'm typical Florida guy. Um, it has to be a lot, so I have my umbrella going, and of course I have my hurricane supply. You always need to have my hurricane supply, and I actually made a nice cozy cookie brownie. I have my hat, my Hawaiian shirt. Because again, I want to say Happy Labor Day, everyone. And I'm in the wrong chair, aren't I? Uh oh, watch out. Woo! There we go. That works a little bit better. I'm going to put this down. Hopefully there's, there's no cat behind me. And because it's Labor Day! Here. There we go. I remember when I got that many years ago. In fact, I'm going to switch chairs. That chair's not comfortable to sit down that long. This chair is better, though. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit better. Get the sponsor's name there. Yeah, right. I wish I was sponsored. Hello, everyone, though. Welcome to another special edition of the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League. I am the one, the only Hobo Tom. And I have a lot to do. Well, everything actually is everything done. The house. I have a lot of stuff to do. Um, some good news, bad news. One, I am still on YouTube. Two, seems every year or so I get the itch to do something stupid. And this time, I'm on my copyright strike. So it's going to be 90 days until I can live again. I would like to thank, though, and I'm going to thank a whole list of people. In fact, I have to thank a whole list of people now. I'm going to thank a whole list of people later. All those that... I commented or left the chat. I have a couple of pages to go through. In fact, I have a whole bunch of these. So this is going to take a little bit. And hopefully, well, actually, it's, you can't tell in the office because I actually have this, the shutters down. That just doesn't, oh, there we go. Go right in the pocket there. But it's actually sunny outside. It's a blue sky. There's a little bit of thunder rumblings. But it's Florida, though. There's always thunder rumblings. So let's see here. So to all my new subscribers, thank you guys so much. I mean, my day, I think I had 180-something-ish new subscribers. So this is going to take me a while to go through. It's going to take a couple of shows. Um, with that programming notes, um, for 90 days, there's going to be no live impact. I will, however, put an impact show on. Let's think what else. Ooh, I have to miss WWE shows. Whatever. So let's so <laughs> let's start my list of thank yous. Steven Daniels. Sir, definitely earn that six count.
Roy von von Dow. I guess I'm saying that right. You're a lead air guitarist. Nathan Rita, you're parting with me with your briefcase heat box. Daniel Donahue, you're crawling towards shelter right now. Jorge Michael Bruno. You, sir, always keep on winning by dirty pen. Connect TV USA. That's a weird name, but whatever. They're definitely part of the El Generico band. JT, holy shit. Brandon Cuvias, you're not, you are not, Jordan Grace, Jordan Grace has back. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. Wow. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Ace Red King 21, you are that mysterious luchador on a forklift.
GR3AT and a T3, you, sir, are experiencing some Mundo Madness. One oh two DLG Radio Orlando. Shouldn't you be watching this stuff for like free? But you know what? You're my tag team partner. Talk show God, why are these radio people watching me? You just are an OMFG moment. Manuel Ortiz, you sir are kung fu fighting. Xavier Gaming. Wait a second. You better not be Xavier Woods, because you, sir, are watching Nikki Cross take it all off. Beaver Games, you better not walk, but you better run to shelter. And wow, I do have to make some more. I know there's still a few more I have to make. Again, to all my new subscribers, thank you very much. If you subscribed 
and didn't get your, did not get your name read. I have to go through this whole list. It's either going to be well, I have Monday. I have my other show Monday, fast to do tonight, Tuesday show, and Friday show. So eventually you're going to get mentioned. Um, all those I have a whole bunch of names to go through too. Wow. Yeah, I do have a whole bunch of names to go through. I think I'm just going to do subscribers for now until I get people commenting in the future, only because I have, like, like pages of, like, people that were chatting with me, and I tried to re remember their names. So I'll shout out to them later on my other show. Again, please sit back, relax, enjoy Labor Day. If you're in Florida, be safe. I hope you got all your hurricane supplies. And enjoy some Daytona Beach Bum Fight League wrestling! Some people say, whoa! What's this? No, corporate Tom was fired, but now he's just getting beat up backstage? This isn't fair. Look at this. It's a freaking gimmick beating. The Easter Bunny, the Techno Blue Ranger, and Santa Claus is beating up Corporate Tom in a backstage segment. Well, at least Corporate Tom's putting up somewhat of a decent fight. Whoa, just tossing him around, though. What, what? Oh! I didn't know Santa could do that. Easter Bunny, the Techno Blue Ranger, and Santa won. You remember, Corporate Tom was fired. This is, this is, this is like the goon squad. Again, the Techno Blue Ranger, he's pretty cool. He likes like phantom powers. He can like face through walls and stuff. Uh, poor Corporate Tom, ever since he, he ever since he was fired by the Vince McMahon, hasn't been the same guy since. Whoa, since, since when do we have this stuff here? At the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. I can't afford this. We're in the middle of a hurricane. Oh, yes. Welcome, everyone. This is a DBB LW Daytona Beach Bum Fight League Wrestling. And we just witnessed just a mugging. Normally, because it's Labor Day. Happy, so happy Labor Day, everyone. Um, generally, for the most part, in the past, we've had Corporate Tom come out, beat up some... 
beat up some gimmick. But remember last time, the 4th of July, Corporate Tom was fired. So he just got beat up by te the Techno Blue Ranger, Santa Claus, and the, and the Easter Bunny. So I don't know what's going to happen there. So now we have kind of a little bit of a tag team ladder match. We have three tag teams. A little blast from the past here to celebrate Labor Day. We have, again, there's in English, one half of the Vaud Villains. We'll see his partner here in a little bit. So again, we have all these entrances to go through. Well, oh, six minutes. It takes forever. Too long. You know your entrance. And of course, his partner. I don't know how to do these theatrics. So yep, this is this is an old timey ladder match. We have some kind of tag teams, a little blast from the past here. The Vaud villains are back. Let's see, we're gonna skip some of this. Oh wait a second! See, there's beautiful days on the beach. That's what it looks like today. Hopefully, it'll look the same tomorrow because I know the hurricane is supposed to come come by. I think tomorrow afternoon. I just finished making some boozy cookie brownies. They look really yummy and good. In fact, so here's one of the Bushwhackers coming back. That's all show them. See what I There we go, there's one of the bushwhackers. I'm kind of nibbling on some chips. Oh, that was a quick entrance. Let's see. Luke! The Kiwi Garbage Man! I don't know, this one because I couldn't put a triple threat tag team match. Sometimes when they start fighting the crowd already, see that's why there's a police APC there. And the watchtower there, and make sure this crowd's not too rowdy.
Wait, this is a ladder match, isn't it? Bushwhackers would fight each other. They were never that bright to begin with. Uh oh, we got. <laughs> and he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good strategy, but he was successful outside. Is it enough? Why are the Bushwhackers fighting each other? They're just not that bright. Oh, someone. Well, it's certainly that implement connects again. He's in a little bit of trouble now. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control. Oh. It's just too early to make a call at this point, Cole. Yeah, I agree. This match can still go either way. But regardless, this is just another in a long line. What a move! What a smart move! He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, Kane. He is a great athlete, but he... Oh, what an impact! Oh. Steal against Bone! He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Luke's starting to slow a bit here. Whoa! Don't get up! <laughs> Brett just randomly threw the ladder in the ring. I thought Brett was a safe worker. Obviously not. Wow! It doesn't get much better than that right there. He's not looking good. You know, there's only two teams acting like a team, and that's the Hart Foundation and the Hot Villains. Like, the Bushwhackers, I don't, I don't think the Bushwhackers are that bright, I guess. Not a lot of spring left in his step. Oh, and did you hear the impact? He's setting up. Quick thinking to avoid that. Hey. Is this it? Eddie Nush is dead. Oh, man, incredible move by Luke. Inside the ring now. Finally, let's get this done inside the ring. Confusion there. Whoa. 
This match may end, and Jim the Animal Nightheart makes him pay in the worst way on that exchange. And he gets out of the way. Oh, not again. Not again. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. What happened to you? You used to look. And now he's using the sledgehammer to try to get out. What a move from Punch. That's how you make this crowd stand on its feet. He's in full-on attack mode now. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. Watch it. Watch it. He's been busted wide open. He's Red Hot Supreme, baby. You got to bleed. Back between the ropes. Let's see if we can keep it between the ropes. We've had enough of this on the floor action. I'm not comfortable when they're at this close to me. Ridiculous maneuver by Simon Gunn. They roll out of the ring, hoping to recover here. Good son got there. Back into the ring now. Yeah, this is good. This is where the action good great. Tremendous impact for that ladder. Back today, too fast. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not gonna give up. But man, this has been physical. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to fall, oh, and that's it. That's got to be it. Butch, now that's a finishing move, people. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can do What? What are you doing? No. Dude, hitting Lynch is like, he's killed. Oh my! Come on, Simon Gotch, get him! Look out! Executed perfectly! And check out the look of satisfaction in those eyes! If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly right counter! Bret Hart spots the opening! He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why he's such a great athlete. Such oh, a great the Hart Foundation comes away with the victory, folks. You want to talk about crowd That was amazing. Take a look at the highlights from this match. You know what that means? The Hart Foundation gets a shot at the Intercontinental Lucha Libre Tag Team Champion Championships held by the Cuba Connection. Whoa. Okay, so we had, to, we had to go back into the Daytona One Center because we could not set up, and the whole crowd had to move. So that was a whole horrible logistics. But here we have a cha women's championship match. We have Princess right now. We have Princess Eco Chi and Goody Goody Heather in the ring right now, and this is for the bestest girlfriend ever belt. This is an elimination chamber match. So, and to the thing is totally random. I have no idea what's going to happen. Then you see Princess Ikochi bent back there. Take, right now taking it to... Goody Goody Heather. Whoa! Whoa! With 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4... Three, exactly two, to one. Do. Who's gonna enter the? Oh, there's Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey's next. The next entrant. Again, we had to move this because because the sand was way too soft. So Ronda Rousey's there. Yeah. Yeah, Scrawny looking. Yeah, that's not that's not too bad of a Ronda Rousey, I guess. Maybe the hair's a little too light, but that's okay. Oh. Oh, they did it, Team Ronda Rousey. Whoa, this one is Ronda Rousey. Package DDT. And she raises her shoulder to interrupt the referee's count. She sure did. Well, look at this action here at the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League. This is actually indoors. Stay down. Stay down. Yeah, the only place, though, they were kind of 
dual tickets. You can be either outdoor or indoor. So there's Twisted Pixie in the background. Who's next? Two, one. Whoa! Mistress Heather's in the ring now. Whoa, it's Mistress Heather versus Goody Goody Heather. Oh, and Princess Ikochi was eliminated. Whoa! Good. Great job by the official here tonight. I don't know how he's managed to keep so many larger than life competitors in check here. Uh oh, look at this. Will it be enough for the win? Champion's still in her little pod, though, so I guess that's the champion's. She does have the champion's advantage, I guess. Boom! 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 I've seen in a very long time. Woo! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Bam. Oh, here comes Swiss and Pixie. Here comes another superstar. Oh, wow, this changes everything. Wow, what a counter that was. All these two had such a war last time. Can she do it? Let's make it. Looking good right now. This is not where she wants to be if she wants to become champion. It's over. That's gotta be it. We got a cover. The shoulders are down. Oh, this is not going to be good. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same thing. Here's a cover. And the champions now in the ring, La Generica, the Jer generic Mexican luchadore. We know what this is. Oh, one of the most oh, her cat! No, we're on the outside. Here's he wants some of this Ronda Rousey. Get over here. Get back in that ring. Uh, look out. She missed your target that time. Yeah, I guess you could say she was just a bit off the mark with that one. Oh, double chops! Oh, this isn't good! Oh my, what a move! Hang on! Will it be? Someone's going through a pot. I'll, I'll, I'll get that. For the win! Not today, too fast. Great reversal! Side rush and leg sweep. Phew. Avoid the impact there. She's going for it again. Okay, out of nowhere. It's over. We're looking at Cole. Will she win it here? I think so. Power <laughs> driver on the steel gray. Real. Quickly into the cover. With a title on the line. Here we go. Two. Oh, this is a rematch now. Oh. Now what the heck was that? She's in a bad way here, folks. It could be over here. Yeah, maybe. We try to use some resiliency, though. She's starting to feel the pressure. She's got two partners in her corner itching to get in there. Oh, wait. Oh, through the pod. Oh, well, Twisted Pixie. Pick up her belt again. It's a big fight feel here in this arena. The WWE Universe hangs Oh! Uh, going to the top. High risk. Look out below! Look out! The frogs. Five-star frog splat. On the grating. Here's the pin. Title on the line. And that title may change hands. Oh, we have a new woman's champion. Swisted Pixie wins. Whoa. everything they had at each other in this match. Let's look back at everything that happened. Pile driver.
pile driver, I barely kissed her. Oh, and she wears the belt. Oh, wow, I have Stone Cold Steve Austin's attire unlocked. Yeah, see, this is a real wrestling crown. When they're inside, it's a real wrestling crown. Look at that. What? Right and thank you, everybody, for tuning in for this incredible Diva match. Now we're going to back, go back outside where well, the crowd's kind of been waiting. There was a little bit of some crowd control that had to happen. People were riding with the Heart Foundation. They're going to chat. Oh, that's a great looking belt, though. Yeah, we have some. Uh, we had a crowd control situation, so they took care of it. Though we're back outside. Yeah, I think it was a quick little brief rainstorm. Look at that dirty person in the crowd. I think it's on the beach crowd. Oh, I did make some good looking belts though. I'll give you that. I'll give you some. Give me credit where credit's due, folks. How does he do that roll and still keep his hat on? His oversized sombrero. Soccer balls and storm buckles. I love that. So out of Beach cart, so made out of beach cart, but it's not even funny. The hey, on the purple hair and the headband. Singles action. You know, this is match of the year potential. Which one of these two will walk away with the win? We'll find out as this one gets underway in mere moments. Someone set off fireworks in the background? I can afford fire. Look at that nice belt. There's the bell. Oh man, better have medical personnel on standby. I got a feeling we're going to need them. Oh man, am I ready for this? And hey, I still can't believe they pay me for this. 
Remember, this is an extreme rules match. This is a Mexican street what fight. The, you know what? Watch it there right by us. Oh! oh. The table. Whoa! Tago Supremo Jr. is having none of it. Oh, he missed that one. God, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any. You got the hug crusher. As the action progresses, let's briefly talk about the challenger. He is slowly getting dissected. Got out of the way of that. Oh, uh oh. Look at this. He's in full control of this one. Not this. He's looking at it again. Executed perfectly. Where's my baseball bat? Satisfaction in those eyes. Too pretty a forehead. Oh, not again. Not again. Oh, my God. Oh, too pretty a forehead. Baby, you need some blood. Too smooth. Good Lord, he's just hell bent on naming his opponent. And I think it's obvious that he'll stop at nothing to win here tonight. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Here we go, back inside the ring. What do you mean we? We're still outside the ring. Oh, it's them. They're inside the ring. Yes, this is a Mexican street fight, baby. Give me that belt. Folks, the title is on the line of this one. And I can't remember a more highly anticipated title defense. We know what this is. End of story. This oh, into the crowd. How is there, how, how is, how is anyone ever going to keep control of this match? Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. This might not end well. Executed perfectly, and check out the look of satisfaction in those eyes. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. Wow! He's still down after that. We'll make a taco stand. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying. The championship hangs in the balance. <laughs> and it could, what a counter that was. Not today. Too fast. We're looking at complete domination here. Package. Whoa. My, what a move. I wonder if I can even make tables. Oh, I can. He. Okay. Now he. Uh, he would. No, 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 no. Fire. Hey, somebody grab the marshmallows. He's now. Looks like fire. Somebody put that out now. Oh! Oh, wow. Uh, going to the top. High risk. Nice from the top! Going top rope once more. They love it. He takes to the air. Wow! We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, the hobo breaker. He's out. He has him in the hobo breaker. Look at this. How, how can this be allowed? The fire marshal is going absolutely bonkers. Look at him just bleed, baby. Bleeding. 
need to bleed some more. Remember, in championship matches, the title cannot change hands by count out or disqualification. Yeah, that's why they call it the championship advantage. You can lose the match, but keep the title. And that championship advantage you just spoke of, Cole, is why I might pick in this match is Katrina. Oh no! Taco Suprema has to win. Man, this has been a great matchup. You're right about that, Cole. And Matt Clay uh oh. The flaming table spot. I hope. I think I got it set up right. The flaming table spot. Uh oh. Oh, oh perfect. Whoa. Look at that crimson mass of Aiden Ink. Aiden, awesome Aiden is wearing. Folks, I would not be surprised if we got the king of a new champion here tonight. I don't recall the last time I saw a more focused challenger. Call your friends, let them know what's going on right now in this awesome match. You're right about that. Cole, call, call your one friend. He's just heat up. Look at this. This could be it. That's it. It's over. It's over. Oh, he missed. Oh, nobody home that time. Oh, man, is he fired up. Taco Supreme! The match was incredible! I can't believe what we saw during it. Let's take a look back at what exactly happened during this one. Bonk! Front of the head with a baseball bat. This was a Mexican street fight. Get 
the helicopter to bring the steel cage in. That would be old fashioned blue silk. Look at that. That one guy looks so bored. Whoa, is she sitting on some guy's lap? comes out. He, he's Hobo Tom. It's the one, the only Hobo Tom, you can tell. Shows up in his, his white underwear. He has no theme music. He can't afford anyone to play a song for him. Just comes out, carries the belt. Yeah, whatever. It's all beat up from all his bum fight interactions. Look, look at that face. Whoa, hairy, fat guy. That beard. It reminds me of it. Look so sunny outside. Where's this hurricane? This is ridiculous. Cross on the leg, everything. I think he got from some, I don't know, the streets. He found something, I guess. Marked him up for life. What? Who's this? You listen to me, Hobo Tom. I took out Corporate Tom. This is the last territory in Florida I have to get. If I get this, I, I am the Under the Bridge champion. And I'll run this organization into the ground. And I'm going to burn this cruddy arena. How can I even get up in this? This is rope. What, what, what are ropes being used as ropes for? This is such a backwater place in Florida. Who's gonna get booed more? Under the bridge. Under the Dunlawton Bridge. Sometimes from underneath the, the Granada Bridge, too. Yes, yeah, the Under the Bridge Championship. I like the fact that they're all somewhat different. I'm gonna put that in my belt collection. Actually, that's gonna go. That's gonna go in the warehouse in Greenwich, Connecticut. I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. Have you guys seen all the trash talk on social media lately? Let's just say some things were said there that, well, would make a sailor blush. And to the millions of coal miners that are tuning in right now, I'll do my best to keep the king's commentary on bias but I can't make any promises. And I'll do my best to try to not punch you in the face, but I won't make any promises either. On another thing, one competitor is risking the title and another is looking to claim it. Oh, this couldn't be better. A win for Mr. McMahon here would successfully mark the culmination of a long journey to the top. Nice dodge there. Going for the big one. That's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. Oh, he's using the hobo choke against <laughs> Hobo Tom. Excellent job dominating this match. Whoa, whoa! It's over. This is the way. This is the way you put the hobo choke on you, freak. Go back to Connecticut. Starting 
to show signs of fatigue. I fully what? expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. But I know one thing. Mr. Rick and a kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. And Allen is show-off time. Don't waste time floating here. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars will get everything they have to win here tonight. Oh, that goes without saying, Cole. The WWE Championship, it's what it's all about here in the WWE. And will it be enough for the win? Whoa, so it's what did he use to stun her? Quick pin attempt here. Oh, look at that. He managed to get a shoulder up. Well, like they say, Cole, timing is everything. Trying to use all the strength and power he can muster to escape this. The man in a bit of trouble. Look out. We're looking at complete domination here. And Allen is show off time. Don't waste time gloating here. Oh, this spells trouble right here. Pile driver! Oh! Championship on the line. Oh, you're right about that. Let's get this thing going. Who's going to be the champion? It's a big fight feel here in this arena. The WWE Universe hanging on every move. You're right, Cole. It's electric here. The WWE Universe is loving this match. Hey, Mr. McMahon gets out of that one. Nice move. Wow, what a move from Mr. McMahon. That's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. He's on the defensive. Is that enough? And he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. What do you have to do to keep this guy down? Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. This match has been 100 miles per hour since the opening bell. Oh, and I don't see any slowing down in the future. This is a great matchup. I'm loving it. Whoa! And he fights his way out. Taking control again. Here we go. That's it. He's done. Going high risk. Off the top rope. I wouldn't know what that's like. Oh, he caught him. That's it. He's out. He's getting roughed up pretty bad here. He still covers down. Championship on the line. And he escapes with a kick out. Just when you thought it was over. Wow. Oh, there is no quit in this man tonight. Mr. McMahon looking to finish this. Submission holds locked in, and he's in big trouble. Yes. The hobo choke. A choke here. Yeah, really, the match is over. Title successfully retained. Let's take a look back at some of the big highlights.
contest. I can guarantee this match will be discussed heavily over on WWE.com. As well as in this contest, your opponent must be unable to get up for a 10 count. Well, that'll be a lot of attitude then, because look at the size of those ears. <laughs> the time for talk is over and done with. Let's give the people what they came for. And again, I think... There's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. Did McMahon send you? You're next. <laughs> I find funny that I got beat up by a hobo. That didn't take long. <laughs>